Hey everyone, this is Coach Kermit here. Today we're going to be going over some oxygen deficit reactionary drills for law enforcement or for military. What we've got set up is an old obstacle course set with some hang cleans to a sandbag drag and do a sprint. We've leveled this out, we're about 60 yards of distance. And at the end, we have got a target sequence set up where I'll be calling out a uh, positional place, a directional command on what target I need to fire them. We're gonna track their tracking time and the decision making time. What did you notice your, your decision making reaction time do? Slow down. I um, found that it was a lot harder to control trigger squeeze um, in order to that. Um, um, you know, it's really difficult because you not only have to think about your breathing, you have to think about all your basic fundamentals for firearms as well, as well as making sure you don't obviously stumble, trip around somewhere where it's not supposed to be. There's a lot to think about in a short amount of time. So reaction time decision making for another high intense heart or just quick frames, quick chase, something like that new law enforcement. Uh, what are your thoughts as far as training? You guys are training me for the better part of the month about some of the training uh, requirements for law enforcement officers. How would this affect them as somebody who's not keeping up on their standards of fitness? Um, I think this is benefit them greatly. It's, I mean, lifting weights, running, and all that stuff's good, but honestly, this is the most realistic training you're going to do that applies directly to the job. 